thank you so much. And I am here primarily as a homemaker, the wife of Paige Patterson, the mother of Carmen and Armour and their spouses, and two fabulous granddaughters. And I want to start by just saying how important I feel motherhood is. Maternity should be viewed as intellectually respectable and emotionally rewarding, as well as a worthy profession in the marketplace of life. Highly skilled labor is required to guide an ever-changing child. A mother needs patience and inner strength of character, intelligence and a determination to learn, skills and giftedness for creative pursuits, loving commitment to faithful care, and a reservoir of wise and prudent counsel. She must work with her husband to build their family. She must labor faithfully to manage her household. She must nurture her own children. She will be empowered herself by equipping her child to take his place in the world. What she does to affect change has the potential to be carried as an empowering force into the generations to come. As a mother, I have found fulfillment in denying myself on some occasions and preparing the people I can't live without to live without me. Confusion and frustration often come to a mother who's confined to her home. In fact, I'll have to admit that there were occasions with I, when I wondered if this chaos really would pass, and if indeed it passed, whether I also would be passed by forever as to any worthwhile contribution to society. Yet embracing motherhood as a primary pursuit, yes, even a career in itself, seems to be losing popularity in our modern society. And yet, being a mother is sometimes an overwhelming task, perceived to be thankless, a hardship tour in the duties of life, burdens and sacrifices, self-denial and boredom, an interruption and an inconvenience. And women have been brainwashed to actually believe that the absence of a titled payroll occupation condemns them to failure, boredom, and what some consider imprisonment in the home. And although feminism speaks to us of liberation and self-fulfillment and personal rights and breaking down barriers, in reality these pro promises are empty and they've produced exactly the opposite effect. In fact, a salaried job and title position can invert your own priorities so that the failures in life adversely affect those whom you love the very most. The mundane tasks accompany everything we do, however high paying or prestigious the job, and escape from boredom is not inevitable just because the workplace is located away from your home. In the quest to be all you are meant to be, you must not forget who you are meant to be and what you are meant to do. A mother's body is designed to be life-producing and life-sustaining. Yet the question is, is being someone's wife and another's mother really worth the investment of a life? I say it is. Perhaps a modern challenge... The modern challenge is not so much the sacrifices a mother is challenged to make if she devotes herself to her children, as are the overwhelming demands a mother feels from her peers to do everything and do it all at once, to work a professional job, to render community service, to pursue her own dreams as well as help a husband, to care for children, prepare meals, keep her home, maintain her own health. Her life becomes all work and the pressure of mundane tasks with no time for relaxation or enjoying the fruit of her labor. Mothers at all socioeconomical levels should be encouraged to make appropriate choices on how much time they spend with their children, even to the point of personal sacrifices and a simpler lifestyle. Highly skilled labor and a big investment of time are required to guide that child. Yes, quality time is important, but you cannot have quality time without quantity time in order to achieve the quality. Motherhood is a calling and not merely a hobby. In the 
animal kingdom, motherhood is purely biological, giving birth. But for the human family, the real work only begins with birth. Then the child must be taught values and traditions. Motherhood is truly a culture-shaping work. My mother was the heart of my childhood home. She operated behind the scenes, orchestrating the myriad of details required to manage a household of seven. She prepared our meals, she bought, kept in repair, and laundered our clothes. She cleaned the house, she maintained our health program, she supervised our education, she planned our entertainment. I knew that I was loved and cherished because I was worthy of my mother's time and energies. Not snippets of time sandwiched among other more important obligations. Not leftover time after professional pursuits were done. But I, with my siblings, had moment by moment, day by day, year after year of her personal attention, full time. My mother eventually did have household help, but she was always the creative visionary and driving force who assumed responsibility for seeing that everything was done in due course. Her creativity reached every corner of our home and extended to every moment of life. She reared five children from birth to empty nest, and to this day she sends each of us in three generations a weekly letter and stays abreast of what we and our families are doing. While her life consisted of mundane responsibilities and routine activities to keep up with five children born over a decade of time, she must have sometimes despaired that she would never have time for herself. Staying at home with young children is not an easy task, yet my mother never complained. We were her chief goal in life. What she encouraged always seemed to proceed from merely pleasant pastime to serious pursuit. She was a guiding star and a dynamic meteor in our lives. My children and my grandchildren are my life's work. I have poured my primary energies and creativity into their lives. I continue to make that my job to be there when they need me. The nurturing of my children has been an awesome task and a precious privilege. It's my most important job. God give us a host of women who will embrace the challenge of motherhood with determination and creativity and be empowered by the task of producing and nurturing the next generation, which is the best product the world has ever produced. No one shapes future generations or molds the cultures of the world more than mothers. So I close with my Spanish friends to say, larga vida a las madres, que son el corazón del hogar.